What's going on YouTube? Uh, today we're going to be doing a review slash, I guess it'll be considered an out of a box unboxing um, of the Iron Studios Boba Fett on Throne Deluxe Art Scale statue. It's a one tenth piece and he's, this statue is actually from the Mandalorian. I think as you can tell here, the Mandalorian. It's not from the book of Boba Fett, which is kind of interesting because on the end of season two on the Mandalorian, you can see kind of a teaser for Boba, Book of Boba Fett. He's sitting on his throne. You know, you kind of assume what's going to happen next. Guess we'll start off with the shipper box. And like I said, I already went through it. It shows the weight, about 2.6 kilograms. Um, kind of some dimensions there. Here's the other side. Just kind of repeat, all four sides will be the same. The top is top is blank, as you can tell. And here's the art box. This box will go inside of here. It put labels here, Art Scale 110 Deluxe Edition. It says Star Wars Boba Fett on Throne and by Iron Studios. A really amazing picture there. Here's the top. It kind of just repeats what it is. Here's the right side. It says Star Wars on the bottom left. The rest of the box is blank. The back is blank. And then the left side will say Star Wars and Disney. Now we're back to the front. If I flip it over to the bottom. The bottom is pretty neat. It has some uh, information here about Iron Studios. Uh, it says, shows where all the places you can follow them. Follow their videos. Learn about the new content. But here it says uh, there's a support for Iron Studios. Like if you have any problems with the shipping or just anything at all, you can contact them. You can either call them or uh, email them, and they'll do their best to help you out. Pretty good service there. Here's the Europe. If you live in Europe, that's their service. And then just some more information there. Okay. Now moving on from that. Inside the box, inside the art box, we have the styrofoam. This is where the statue will be inside. Uh, on the top, it says Iron Studios. And then all rest of all the sides are just are just blank. And then I already opened this up, uh, took them out, messed with them a little bit. Kind of took off all the paper. You see there's all the paper right there. Don't mind my one banana back here. Kind of move that away. Um, so I go ahead and open this up. Have tape all around it, had to cut. There's a the top piece, and then he kind of comes to sit like this. Now, I did have one issue with, with him. I don't know if it's a shipper's, not the shipper's fault, but I don't know if it's a shipping or Iron Studios themselves. But I'm not quite sure how he's, his head is supposed to come in. When I opened it up, after I unwrapped all the paper and everything, his head was just laying right there. Just, just right there. Just loose around, bouncing around, because. When I picked them, when UPS handed them off to me, I was like, man, I can hear something bouncing around in here. That's not good. You can kind of hear his head rattling around. So the first thing I was, I grabbed it, checked it out. As you can tell, try to get it straight. You can tell his antenna here is not very straight. When I first got it, it was probably bent right there where my finger's at, if you can tell. Quite over. It was a pretty big arch. Not, there's nothing where you could live with it. Like, it was very noticeable I got a hot air dryer got an air dryer and I heated it up and kind of played with it kept trying to get it straight I had to put one finger or I put one hand here other hand here fingers and kept pushing it straight without breaking the base finally got it somewhat straight I mean it's still noticeable if you're looking for it but if you're not you don't notice it um, but in the process of doing that, I did make it very loose. You can tell, you can see it wiggling. May have to glue that later on. I'm not sure. But since I already got his head in my hands, I guess I'll go ahead and do a quick close up on it. The paint job is, I think is really good. Um, I don't see any areas where the paint may have kind of washed or bled to the other side. It all looks like a pretty good straight line. I love how they included the his dent, the camera focuses right there. 
You can kind of see it right there. Um, I'm not, I can't remember where he got that from, but I love how they included included that. Uh, but I'm pretty sure his head was supposed to come already pre-attached. Like that. But it wasn't when I got him. Like I said, all this paper was in there. It was wrapped up really nice. They always do a good job wrapping their products. If I get him out, he's a really heavy piece for a 110. Uh, Boba Fett himself is not very big. So you can kind of see my hands. He's not about the size of a hand, maybe smaller. About the size of a hand. He's not very big at all. The, what makes him massive is the base. I mean, just look at that. It is big. I put my hand, one hand, you know, it's about a hand and a half wide, going that way. Like, look how deep that is. For a 110 statue, that's massive. But I'll start with the base, kind of work, work my way left to right. I do a close up on him, or not him, but this head. I'm not quite sure what this is supposed to be. But it is hollow, I can put my finger in there. He has a, you can kind of see his tongue, kind of fill it, fill the teeth. Really nice. They got some really good details here. I like uh, I like the rifle, it looks really good. You can tell what it is from just looking at it. You obviously, obviously know it's Boba Fett's rifle. I will say the Diamond Selects, um, Boba Fett statue, I do like the pose better. It's not out yet. I think it's supposed to come out either in July or August. It's a 1 7 scale statue. It's a resin statue. Uh, but in his pose, in Diamond Select's pose, he is holding his rifle in his right arm, I believe. And he's kind of slouched over, like leaning on it. Kind of bent over just a little bit. Slouched over, looking up. It looks more intimidating in that. In that pose in my opinion in this pose it looks relaxed like he's just chilling he does not look intimidating at all because his rifle i mean he has his rifle out ready but he just don't look very intimidating and then diamond selects uh bubble threat bubble fat throne he looks very intimidating other than that i think this piece is better you know it's a 110 scale it's smaller easier to display cheaper and it's polystone I'm not sure which one is supposed to be better, polystone or resin, but I know they're both really, really good materials to make your statues out of. And then he has this on this side, same as the, that side. If I move it around, his side looks kind of got some grooves here. Um, kind of, kind of plain. Nothing, nothing much. Not gonna really see the side. Here's the back. Like again, plain, probably push, meant to be pushed against a wall, be kind of flush. The side is the same thing as the other side. And then I should be able to flip him on his back and kind of see the bottom. That caused too much damage, I, I believe. There we go. Here's the bottom. You've got, you've got four of these little rubber mats, kind of help him keep from scratching. You know, if you have a glass shelf or anything, kind of help keep from scratching it. Kind of says what it is again, Iron Studios 110, Bubble Fett on the throne, Disney, Star Wars. Just in case you forget who makes it or what it is. And then we'll start with the figure himself. Kind of start on the bottom. Now this color, the colors on it are really good. I think this orange or slash yellow kind of in between the two really sticks out. They did a really good job of painting them. Uh... His boots are really good. I like how his, I guess, jeans or whatever this would be considered. You can see how it goes over. You know, you can kind of see the sew lines where they, where it would have been sewed at, all the way up, stitching. And kind of again with the stitching going across there. Really good, really good. Kind of got his little cape. Kind of sticks out there. Again, sorry for the poor video quality. I can kind of tell it's having trouble focusing. Trying my best. It's got some 
attachments on his arm and on this side as well. Sorry about that word cut. Video messed up for a second. On his belt, you got two pockets on this side, kind of a, yeah, kind of like pockets, two on this side. Got his belt, got his armor, chest armor. You got a little logo here. Not quite sure what it's supposed to represent. It looks like a softball in my opinion, but I'm not sure. Um, if you go to this side, he does have another logo right here. Can't, oh, I can't think of what that's called. That, that beast. But yeah, it's on this side. You go to this side, there ain't nothing there. You can kind of see his jetpack on both sides. Really good, they got some paint, really good paint job. Got his missile. Yeah, they did a really good job on him. And then, on the very back of the, I guess the throne, kind of the back part, they have some writing design, kind of added, neat little touch, and then they, they didn't have to add that, it could have been just been flat. But I like that, adds more, I don't know what you would, what would call it, uh, just nicer, just make it look a little nicer. Um, yeah, that's my review slash out of the box unboxing of the Iron Studios Bubble Fett on Throne. If you guys like the video, like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions how to, what I should do better or what I'm doing wrong, let me know in the comments. I'll try to fix it. Just thank you guys for watching.